Now, rough cut capacity planning is the uh, tool that we use at the master schedule level, but uh, the same kinds of concepts apply at the resource uh, requirements level or at the group or family level. So this converts the master production schedule into the impact on key resources. And I said we could do that for labor, uh, equipment, cash, inventory, several different units of measure that we can use to estimate this capacity requirements. So it's really a, a fairly simple process. Uh, I'll use a spreadsheet example just to kind of give you the idea, but this is uh, exactly what uh, QAD does in the background uh, to calculate the capacity requirements for uh, each level in the ERP. Uh, first of all, you identify and quantify the key resource. So you define uh, the resources that you're going to use, develop a bill of resource. Now, we know what a bill of uh, material is. A bill of resource just says for this product family or this uh, end item, uh, this end item is going to use 10 hours of uh, labor or $10,000 worth of cash, however you want to do that. Then you extend the bill of resource by the master production schedule, summarize at the rough cut capacity planning by key resource compared to available and uh, then simulate the impact on uh, your MPS. So if we looked at it from a simple uh, spreadsheet point of view, here we've got part number one, two, three, four, five, six and part number six, five, four, three, two, one. Uh, I've got 173 hours of uh, labor available and for each bill of resource for one, two, three, four, five, six. I've got work center one, two, three, four with these hours, and then one, two, three, four for the part number six, five, four, three, two, one, and a master production schedule for each part number. So the calculation of rectup capacity planning simply says that I'm going to multiply the 25 times 10. I'm going to 250 hours of uh, load. Then I'm going to go to my next period. I'm going to calculate 500. Then I can do the same for part number 654321. I've got 900. Uh, here I've got 1216. And what I do now is I can add those up, divide by that simple 173 hours per man a month. And this says that uh, for each month out in the future, I'm going to need 10.8 or 11 people, 13, 13. Uh, then it goes up to uh, almost 19 for periods uh, April and May. So it's a very simple uh, process to extrapolate your master production schedule or your rough cut capacity plan into man hours. You could substitute this for cash, for square footage, however you want to do. But that's a, a very simple process to estimate your uh, man hours. 